Hi guys, Nick of Nicktastic Art. Thank you so much for stopping by the art channel. We're gonna do a Dutch pour that is gonna leverage neutrals. So I've got a warm brown, gold, white, a peach pink, and with a taupe or a very neutral background. It's actually warm gray from Amsterdam. And it's gonna be a little bit minimalist. I really like the way this turned out. Join me on this journey. So if you're not already aware, please know that we're doing a giveaway for the channel. And basically everyone who is an active subscriber on June 12th will be automatically put into a drawing for um, one of three prizes and you get to choose the prize. So the first option would be a Loli Vefi mat. The second option is gonna be some Arteza Pearl paints, six tubes of the 120 milliliters. And the third option would be a piece of art from me. So the winners of the drawing will be able to email me and tell me their preference in terms of which prize option they would like to have. If you do select the painting, I will email you back three choices and you can pick whichever one or tickles your fancy or speaks to you or is uh, something that you'd like to have. Thanks for stopping by the channel. Okay gang, we are working on an 18 by 24 canvas. I painted my sides. You can see I was testing out a drip test on my warm gray. This is Amsterdam's warm gray. So basically that color. And we're gonna do a Dutch pour. Now, I have created a custom brown that, um, I have a Van Dyke brown. It just kind of got here and I don't have any mixed up. Um, but what I did do to make this gorgeous brown color here, I, I know you're like, well, brown's never gorgeous, but it, and um, my consistency, by the way, is it's mounting for just a slight second and then running in. So it is thinner. Um, it looks like it might have thickened up just a tad bit, but I took um, burnt umber and added oxide black. Amsterdam's oxide black. So. We've got that color. We've obviously got the warm gray. I do have my Caribbean pink, or not my Caribbean pink, my peach pink. Um, I've played around with it, tried to get it to perform a little better. We'll see if this works. Um, I've got a gold that is mostly Amsterdam gold, but there is a Pebio iridescent gold in there also. I've got a pearlescent brown from Arteza, and then I've got a bronze, um, and that's Amsterdam's bronze. So, this one looks a little funny still though. Just checking my consistency here. Yeah, it's good. Oh, I know what it was. Um, I mixed in a little bit of a lighter color to lighten up the bronze so it wasn't so earthy. I know this is an earthy color palette. That doesn't make any sense. But. These are the colors we're gonna be working with. We're gonna do a Dutch pour. I'm gonna get the base color down and then bring you guys back. Um, I forgot to say that we were gonna add some white to this flow also, and I was using um, Artist Loft white for that. So just uh, to make sure everything is covered here. Um, I am gonna do, uh, I'm trying not to do a flower type blow, obviously. This, these are not flower colors. Um, and what I was thinking about in my head, I kind of wanted to do a curling blow that direction. So we're going to go from here and out like that. And I just want a little bit more of this brown to really kind of ground it out. So where I'm thin here, I'm gonna add more of this brown. Or brown black as it actually is. Okay, I think that's good. I mixed up so much of that. <laughs> Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with this um, bronze that I made lighter. I think that's gonna interact nicely with that. 
Then we're going to do the pearlescent brown. And this is our Tezas. So far it's very neutral. Um, and then in order to, I don't want the white to take over on top. Um, I'm going to do a very tiny bit of white right now. And then I'm going to do another white later. We're going to put the peach pink on next. Then we'll do the gold and then we'll do a little more white. So this is the peach pink. Got our other colors here. Then we'll do the gold. And then I'm going to put just a little more white on there. And I mean little, hopefully that looks like a little. Okay, we're going to pop the air bubbles and then we'll get them blown out. I am going to have to talk myself through this though out loud. Um, I don't know why I got rid of that white spot. It's not like it was gonna stay. Okay, so we could treat this as the center and blow up and blow out. We could blow continuously this direction all up. Yeah, I think we're gonna, actually we're gonna start right about here. We're gonna blow all this up and this down or out basically. Um, I do have an open cup, so I'm just going to move that out of my way, and we'll get started. simplicity but it's speaking to me I really am happy with the way this turned out there's a couple of petal areas um, I think need to be a little extended out a little bit more um, I don't want to do that necessarily with the hair dryer I'd like to do that instead it's just a little fuzzy um, with the by hand so Always hanging on to the front of yourself very tightly there. Actually, I think I need to blow. Oh, I did put myself in there. I shoot where? Somewhere, because it's right there. I can see all the bubbles. <laughs> Alright, uh, we're going to blow it instead, I guess. Yep, now I've got shown canvas there. No! It's alright, we'll get them covered back up. Um, yeah, I didn't like the way this guy blew right here.
But I, I like the other two spots. Um, let's get a straw. I just am really leery of touching that. There we go, that's better. Just softening up that edge a little bit. Do the same thing over here. And I think we'll take him out a little bit. Good. I like the center here to go up a little bit. And that guy right there. That's better. I don't like this guy right here, so we're just going to drag him, make him connect. Okay. Okay, I do want him to soften back up. I really like it. Yeah. Oh, you guys, if you could see this up close, it's amazing. Let me, uh, let me see if I can get you down here, show you the wet results. Okay, sorry for the glare. Here is what I'm seeing overall. Just there's the full piece, but look at this. Let me pull you back here and let's see if you can focus. Look at all those little guys. So cute. Just a little explosion of colors. They may be muted colors, but <laughs> look at that little area there. So cute. If you keep moving up, we've got the same thing happening all the way up this side. So yeah, I'm really excited to see this piece dry. And here are the dried results. Boy, this piece just is so cute. It almost reminds me of like leopard print or something along those lines. So we'll bring you in here for a couple sections. You can see just... Uh, the result that I was looking for in the center there that worked out perfectly I like the gold and the way that shines um, I like the depth of the darker brown that we put in there so yeah overall very happy with this piece I think it's gonna make somebody oop, not focus there I think it's gonna make somebody a, a really nice piece in their their home let me know in the comments what you guys think Thanks for stopping by. Find your bliss.